So I'm coming from a large Fortune 100 company where I led a variety of different businesses there and a variety of different roles over the past decade. For me, it was three things in terms of what to get me to, to leave the, the company that, that I left. I fundamentally believe people are the cornerstones for a thriving and successful business. And I want to be in a culture or help create the culture that fundamentally believes that. I'm often asked for the difference between um, Halma and organizations that I've worked with in, in the past who are larger multinational organizations. So there are loads of differences, but I think the one that's most um, prevalent or maybe even pivotal is that we want to protect the autonomy of our, of our MDs and, and the companies that they run. Um, that gives them the space and the agility to make the right decisions. They know their markets better, they know their products better, they know their customers better. And I think in previous organizations that I've worked in, those decisions would, ha would be taking place at a much higher level. The second thing for me is uh, I'm an entrepreneur at heart. Mm. I'm incredibly competitive and I love the ability to, to build and the autonomy to build. Yes. And I reflect on the um, past few roles that I've been in, in, in larger corporations. I think about how much more could have accelerated um, the growth of some of the roles that I was in, but I felt kind of shackled uh, and needed to be mm -hmm. untethered. And the third piece for me ultimately is around purpose. The Halma backing and the way that Halma kind of opens your mind to achieving the growth um, is really exciting and makes you think around the problems a little bit more and have big company thinking with small company agility. I got to move from someone who learned and explained processes and procedures to my team to somebody who could really engage in the market with my companies and figure out how to grow. We're here to support, we're here to be a resource that sometimes a sparring partner, most often a sounding board, you know, with the people yeah. in the operating companies. But at the same time you do, you're right, you have to get out of their way. Really between the business model and the exceptional people I work with every day is part of why I love being at home.